viewers and subscribers, welcome to Guyanese News where we discuss news about Guyana. Check out this exclusive content with Melly Mel exposing everything what is going on with the extortion and blackmail case. Remember, if you want breaking and trending Guyanese news, smash the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment in the comment section. She ain't got no money, you know, this man don't get she no money. She ain't got to send, she said she can't stand up and speak in front of the man. Should I said, okay. I said, I will dress, I will come, I will put together a file, and I will go and I will stand up in court with you and i will explain to the judge i will tell them this is what is happening you are from my country you don't know the law this man have been taking advantage of you this man been using your credit this man been filing taxes for you this man been doing a number of illegal thing with your social your credit card everything i said i will take it upon myself minga be liar i will go and i will explain all of this to the judge for you and this is the conversation here we're having. Oh my God, thank you very much. Thank you very okay, much. Melly, you, uh, you can fill me in on what you need help with. And uh, yeah, because I don't live in New York. Yeah, so no, so uh, well, you can no, uh, let me know and I will put in my... Yeah, my I don't live in there either. Yeah, well, I can't try it out. Leela, for now, your son got money and stuff for food and to go to school yes, and stuff? Yes, yes, okay. yes. Okay, let me ask if your son get money and stuff to go to school to right. send for share? Uh, I'll, I'll talk to Mel tomorrow. Bitch. Just give Mel your details and um, <laughs> you have to you have to make sure that you're in a position to get a phone call from the IRS. Hi, yes, yes. Oh, so me too, for me too, get how them to, to, to see what's going on with your credit, with the, uh, the credit bureau and, and the refinance and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we can, we have one week to get up all the documentation. Mm -hmm, because the time is coming short and, you know. We're going to ask the judge, we're going to tell the judge that, um, you know, this has been going on. And one of the reasons that you, we let him know why you're there. And let me tell you something. No judge is going to look at that easy. And especially if you don't know what you're signing for your IRS, all of these things. If you don't know how to get onto the IRS, if you don't know anything, and all of these years, and he, he's had you here for all of these years. And that is so like like a and abuse, and that's, that's, Every that's, time I talk about going out of work is something, but you see what happened? I... I, I slipped up. I slipped up, right? I slipped up a couple of years ago because there is so much pressure on me. I don't have to do anything to, for my son. I'm telling you the truth. My son would get up and make his own food and eat. I have no trouble with my son. Meanwhile, I have to babysit him. That was before the baby come. So one day it was overbearing. You know, the mess, the things we do. So I, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get a job. And when I go out there and I get a job, everybody's going to have to pull their weight around here. But he knows him I'm really talking about. And that was the mistake I make. Because remember, he don't want to do anything for himself. So yeah. He want me to do everything. And if I go out and I get a job, um, I wouldn't be available for him. Hold on. Somebody was calling me there and that life come off. Let me go. Let me get the rest. Hold on. I ain't done. I ain't done with this here for. Believe he took out life insurance on me. Wow. I yeah. have a strong belief he did it. He, I believe he did it. So, he's not going to, okay, he's like a money hawk. Okay. He tried to bleed money and get money from every situation he could, okay. right? Yes. So yeah. knowing that that could happen, I yeah. believe he took out life insurance. It's just that I'm not getting the right, I'm not getting anybody to find out this thing. You're in a very strong position. You didn't know the situation. So now that you know, and now that we know what we're doing, then you don't have a case against you. Because one thing I'll tell you much mm -hmm. is that from the instant you go and tell them uh -huh. that you do not do your own taxes and somebody collects your taxes for you, uh -huh. you're uh -huh. going to know that that's the reason that he filed those charges. I hope you know that. I don't know anything. That's the thing. And he knows that. Well, I'm telling you now. So walk with that in your head. Because one of the reasons that you can claim that he's doing all of this is because you found out what he was doing. 
and you asking questions and when you asking questions he's trying to you know sell. well we we will uh, we will talk all three of us are going to talk to see I how best more we evidence can. i had a space with because he lied to me he said he's getting two thousand dollars a week and i find a base with uh, four thousand dollars a week right where does he work he work at it yeah he would be but yeah. he doesn't drive he doesn't drive he buy a car for him my son drive it one time and he took it back mm. Apparently, he bought it for himself. Uh -huh. Yes. And my son, I'm telling you, my son is going through a lot. And um, he's going through a lot. My son is suffering in silence. You know how I feel to know my son is going to sit on a quiet people's house. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. I didn't know nothing. And he would act brave about in front of me. Oh, oh my God. If you meet, if you meet Aaron. She's talking about your son, then. And he would buy nothing yet with, uh -huh. for Aaron from to collect eleven thousand dollars. Even the voucher, the food, the, the car that we get with, uh -huh. for Aaron from school, even that we have no freedom with. He would just use it to buy grocery in the house, and he would buy nothing for Aaron. He hasn't buy any grocery in the house for us no in clothes. nine weeks. No clothes. We go next door and pick up clothes yeah. and wash it and wear it. You understand? So, it's a lot. It's a lot going on with us. I don't know. There's so much. Um, the funny thing is, is that I have no money. And he did this. He did this on purpose. You know what he did? He went and he applied for two credit cards in my name. I never apply. What? He applied for two credit That's cards. Hard. Right? That's he hard. Applied for, and he bring it and he give it to me to do shopping for a wedding. We was to go to a wedding next month, right? And he, he make the credit card bill, went up and the company's calling me, calling me, calling me. I did one bad thing, I can tell you, but I required to it. Okay, I went to the bank and I draw the thousand dollars that was between the two of us and I used it to clear off my father's nursing home bill. They were calling me and I pay off my credit card bills. So, um, it's done. So he's he really, really, he really mad. He, he know I took the money. He get a notification, of course. He know I took the money. I forget to tell Mel that. But I didn't think of the money. You have anything so bad if you're going to count? What are you talking about? But you did something right? bad. This See, man, you so you, mentally you, beat you, that you paid your bill. That's what you're supposed to do. You know, we were just talking, man, you see what we were just talking about? Like these credit cards, these people, you, you know, you paid your bill. That's the right thing to do. This is a miracle. Oh, he was a yeah, because you know account. what? He it's tried to mess me up all wrong. He tried to mess up my credit. He don't have credit in this country because he messed up his credit. So he did that. But I'm thankful that he didn't go and buy something expensive I couldn't pay for because... Um, well, you don't he, know that he tried to mess me up all around. There's so much thing I don't know what to say or what to, what not to say or what to remember to say. But um, do you have an email address? It's not working. It's not working. Um, what? It's no, not no, working. no. That that is not that is not working. That the reason I ask you that is because. He probably he creates one know. in your name and he gets yes. everything forward to him. He know your number, he paying the bill, everything. This man is so, a fraud and this man just got you. I know, the, point, the, I know the email address. I know he have the email address and the password because he opened the email for me. But I don't get access. I don't get to send him. I don't get to receive You don't emails. have access to this email? Yeah, no. exactly, because he's using it. Wow. He's using it to get all the communication for the credit card and everything mm -hmm. else. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Oh my God! Because when he took her, he thought, okay, I, I developed this hobby because of the mental problem and all these things on my head. So I developed this hobby. I start making earrings. I find it very relaxing and therapeutic, and I enjoy doing it. So I used to purchase one and two things from Amazon from his card, and then he go and he bring my own credit card. So I used to, I was happy to have a credit card, right? And um, he even explained to me how important, it's like he got his credit card, it's how important it was to him, because I get 5,000 credit on it and he don't have that, right? So um, so I used to use use my credit card and used to help me pay the bills and so it's not much I used to buy, you know, like earring fines and those things. But what he did now, he went and he took out another one and for me that didn't make sense. I asked him,
them. I said, why did you take out another one? He said, no, that's okay. You have two now. That's good. But when I do go out of it now, after we get the problem, and he refused to pay the bills, and the company keep calling me, and then he tell me to go shop, brother. He was thinking ahead this whole situation. He was doing this to save me. He know today, this day would have come, right? So, so he tried to put me in trouble to lose my credit. If I have no credit, I have nothing in the country. What, what uh-huh. am I going to do, uh-huh. right? Because last, we didn't have Christmas. We had a problem in, no, um, in November, right? Um, say a mattress. My son need a mattress and he don't want to buy the mattress. The mattress old, he been lo- using it like 20 something years. And the mattress no good. And I, I beg him, beg him, beg him to buy a mattress. And this man insists that we end up having a quarrel for this mattress and then he go and he buy it, right? So we didn't have Christmas. Christmas was canceled. No tree went up. We didn't do nothing. So I used the credit card to purchase food stuff from Walmart, right? To have it delivered home. So I think that's why he really went to mess up my credit too because, you know, I can't use the credit card and I don't have no money. He wants me to suffer. You understand? He... He want me. I telling you, when I took that money out of the bank, that man searching all over for the money. He is searching everywhere for that money. And the money don't spend. There is nothing he can find anymore because I use it to clear up the bills. My father is in a nursing home. And I had some outstanding bills. There was calling me. I asked them to, to um, bear up with me a little. And they did. So I just want to just um, Hold on, I ain't done. Me ain't done. I ain't done. Hello, I get recordings upon recordings. I ain't done. Where did I begin with you? Um, where did I start? Where do I start? This is Mr. Maybe you don't even need to start over. What we need to do is figure out how we're going to get to happen. Because I'm certain that both myself and um the other... What's her name? Sorry, let me get your name. Gio. 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 That I know we already have your information. Um, I would have shared uh, in confidence your stuff, right? Doing this because we think you're telling a lie. I don't think you'll come on here and no, just tell no. us a lie because you want. Do it. Maybe you don't even need to start over. We'll confidence your stuff right? um, for, for the best thing for you, not even the right thing, but the best thing for you because we are going to do the right thing, but the best thing for you. <laughs> and. Um, I told Mel I'm going to come down because I'm not, if I was there, I would have drive with Mel tonight and come over to get you, but I'm um, okay. not there. Um, it's far out, it's far out in Long Island. Yeah, we're going to come. Um, we're going to come and see how best. You have to, you have to let us know because remember, no, we're going to be putting ourselves in harm way and we have to make sure that we're doing the, we, you know, we're, we're right. Um, Do you want to me? Uh-huh. What is um what what is your fear like? What is your fear? That's that's one of the my things. fear is that he's putting me out the house. Remember, he brought me from my country. He married me the next month, and um he uh, he denied me of working, making friends. I have no money. He isolated me. I never get to go out much, like making friends or or even having a job every time i ask to go out and work he always have an excuse um That's he's even happy okay. i don't regret having the baby mm-hmm. but i was thinking about leaving him before the baby I got pregnant and that's how I left stuck in the relationship. He gave me that baby to pin me down. I tell you, I swear, the day, the first day we walk in the house with a baby, you know what he tell me? He says, so where you going to go now? You can't run. You're pinned down for life. Uh-huh. Right? He told Let me that. Let me ask a question. Oh my God. Hold on, I'm done. I tell you, I have to break this thing up because it's like two hours of record is upon rec- every single conversation. I mean, this woman is recordings upon recording because I've been recording all the conversation. So y'all hear she telling me in this, y'all hear in this conversation, this woman signed this man, take out two credit card and give it to her to spend and tell her to spend it. Man, look, these people know the hello critics. Look how they get you looking like a big scunt in this life. Cause you're big and you're done with the two goodie. Watch at you. Call them, look, critics. I know you should shame. I, know that. I never know that. He filed tax and get 3000 at one time. He give me 100 and he give my son $20. Mm-hmm. 
That's the mm -hmm. only time we ever get anything. And he's getting back a lot of tax because he's filing for me and my son was just taking his tax, the tax money that caused the problem the day because I, he keep holding out that he didn't get tax. He didn't get tax, no tax. How old yes, is your he son? Got, he's 17. He came here when he was 11 years old. And how old is your daughter? She's only three. Hmm. Okay, when right but it got worse it got worse because now the abuse continue the gas like you don't want to know i didn't even know the name of these things i know i was going through it until i start going and, and do my research and google these things he would come home today and tell me something and next day he would come and tell me something else and i would tell him i would confront him but you know something that's not what i tell that, that's not what you told me yesterday oh you didn't hear me good this oh. thing went on for month i used i was thinking that i was running mad a day one day i called my son and i asked him and he tell me he said mommy i don't know why uncle is doing this to you but i be hearing he telling you the same thing i don't Man, know why he's doing this to you you know when he's in school yes he's in the, school the, the, he's in school we went to the shelter and, and, to be honest my son is now well just because I think you are living in america thing, with a man us to go to the shelter. We went to the shelter. The Nobody put ever out checked back on us. In we went through in the hell in the shelter, but I never let my husband to know that, right? Um, it's not easy. You meet up with all sort of people, bullies. It 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 wasn't easy in the shelter. So when you went and to the shelter, you were in the shelter? Or you were in the shelter? Or he, he, however, can provide for the child. So the lawyer tell me that he, she... He, he, there's a 50 50 that there's 90 percent chance then that he would um win her so me not being able to live without my daughter at one year old i i try to come back home and i try men's up thing and to be honest things went back good for that six seven months eight months and for the past five months things have really gone sour especially from last month because i saw him giving his daughter our tax money the daughter that he got from another marriage uh -huh. all right let me ask a quick question paper yeah. i have it my name is on it can you send it to us please uh, that's that could happen i oh, believe he took out life insurance it's just that i'm not getting the right i'm not getting anybody to find out this thing you're in a very strong position to claim that could happen that how much is but you know we have you? a we have a um and what is happening right now it's wrong it's have wrong an offense again Doing this because we think you're telling a lie. Doing this. Alright, so it's recordings upon recordings. Let me see this one as well. Believe it took out life insurance on What me. is the life insurance she says she wow. can't really believe? I have a strong belief he did it. He, Man is I a fraud. He did it. So, he's not going to okay he's like a money hawk uh -huh. he tried to bleed money and get money from every situation he could uh -huh. right uh -huh. so knowing that that could happen i believe he took out life insurance All right, i think i played this one for you before right i'm not getting anybody to find out this thing you're in a very strong position yeah let me see i played all of this 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 one is on i begin with you um uh -uh. Where did I stop? See this other one? This which is And he would buy nothing yet with, uh -huh. for Aaron from to collect eleven thousand dollars. Even the voucher, the food, the, the car that we get with, uh -huh. for Aaron from school, even that we have no freedom with. He would just use it to buy grocery in the house and he would buy nothing for Aaron. He hasn't buy any grocery in the house for us no in clothes. nine weeks. No clothes. We go next door and pick up clothes. Yeah. And wash it and wear it. You understand? All right. So there's more recording. It's recordings upon recording, but it's like two hours of recording. But it's two hours of this woman admitting to her husband opening all these credit cards in her, he, her name and her not knowing because he ain't got no credit. Right? He get bad credit. He ain't got no credit. So we, what, what, let me explain, well, well, let me explain in a nutshell what is happening and I can prove all of this because I have all the recordings, right? It's like two hours of recordings. So it's long to sit down and listen. you sit down and listen to this lady's story, this woman cried, this woman cried, this woman cried, this woman used to call me every day sometime, two, three times a day, just say, Melly, Melly, you can help me, you can come to court with me, you sure you can go to court with me, you sure you're coming, till at one point in time, 
I was so busy because y'all know I'm always busy. When she's not getting me, the recorded conversation that you saw with her and D was because she wasn't getting me because she was constantly calling me, calling me to ensure that I show up to go to court with her the Monday. And I had to keep reassuring her, yes, I'm going to come, I'm going to court, I'm going to court with you. Yes, I'm going to come. I'm putting your file together. We're going to talk to the judge. We're going to tell the judge all this thing this man doing you. We're going to report your husband to the IRS. We're going to report you to tax fraud. All the illegal things he doing. She even tell me the man is renting illegal basement. She even tell me to get some tomb at the bottom of the house. She even tell me the, he put the name in the modern name. She even tell me he's open credit card in the modern name. He, the man is a fraud. So I saying to her, I said, all these things that this man is doing, we are going to go to court and we are going to tomb. Yes, yeah, so there's a cry too. So what? Cause I'm, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I cried with her because I felt sorry for her. Especially when she tell me the part where she son, because she son know what is be going on. She son don't want to cry in front of her. She son just go by the neighbor house, by his friend's house that he's go to school with and cry. Imagine she put her son through though. She son just go by the friend them house and cry. And the friend them at one, she one the son friend. Man, if y'all hear these recordings. One of the son friend had to give him $50 at one point in time for them to buy food. Cause they had no money. The man wasn't giving them no money. And I keep saying to her, I said, but this, I said, because you do, I said, this man cannot do that to you. He can't do this to you and your son. This man can't do this. So let me explain. Let me tell y'all, you know, let me, let me, critics, don't bat, big goody, big BTO critics. Come, let me explain to you is what happened. And let me tell you now. Okay, the man is a trick and the man is a fraud just like you. So let me tell you what happened. After she made contact with us, right? And we started helping her, right? After she tell me about this credit card that this man opened. And the man gets you the credit card to spend it. Maybe she getting no money. He don't do nothing. So the man makes you spend the credit card. Because he ain't got no credit. 